Hi, I'm Andrew Poliak, Chief Technology Officer with Panasonic Automotive Systems America. And back in 2018, we had the privilege and pleasure to talk about some new technology we announced that was running the Amazon Alexa Assistant in vehicles that we showed the first time a hybrid solution, meaning you're running Alexa with or without a network connection where it could actually uh, support some vehicle functions when you didn't have a network connection. And today I'm joined by Ariane Walker. She's the chief evangelist for Amazon, Amazon's Alexa Automotive Group. Uh, hello and welcome, Ariane. Hi, thank you, Andrew. I'm thrilled to be here. Such a pleasure. And um, I'm just really excited to do what I do best, evangelize all of the great things that we're doing with you um, and across the industry. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, we've gotten a chance to really look at uh, holistically what Amazon's doing now and how many great technologies you have for automotive. But maybe do you have just a quick second that you want to tell us what's going on and why Alexa is targeting the car and some of the new things you're doing with it? Yeah, we're really excited to be in vehicles. Um, we've made more and more announcements about integrations in a number of vehicles. Um, and really what we're focused on is creating a great experience for our customers to bring voice into the car. Um, and we've done this for a number of reasons. You know, first and foremost, we have heard from our own customers and we've heard across industry studies, this desire to bring that voice experience that people have at home into their vehicles. Um, in fact, uh, JD Power, we've been talking about this statistic for a while from JD Power that around 80% of consumers want that same voice that they have at home in their vehicle. Um, and I will give us all a little sneak peek. JD Power gave me a sneak peek um, at some of their new data where they actually surveyed consumers across four different countries, the US, the UK, Germany, and India. And they saw that number increase across those countries for an average of now 87% of consumers that want that same voice AI that they have at home in their next vehicle. And we're just excited to be able to bring that great experience to our customers in their in their vehicles. Oh, that's awesome, almost 90%. Uh, I'll tell you, we've had um, a great opportunity. I think it was 2018 where we started working with the Alexa team. Well, 2018 is where we announced we were working with the Alexa automotive team in providing a hybrid speech recognition on our Android uh, cockpit domain controller. And it was showing how you could use certain embedded functions um, when the vehicle may not have a connected a connection. So things that you may need either low latency or to work no matter where you are on the planet, like, you know, adjust your windows or your HVAC or maybe your tuner. And then when you had that connection, you could then interact with your assistant. With We've been working on a lot of neat things with Amazon, so I wanna give all of it away, but maybe you could talk a little bit about some of the new innovations, um, perhaps about more of those branding opportunities that auto manufacturers would have when they are kind of choosing between an, uh, an embedded or a vehicle specific uh, environment and brand versus where they could still use the great technology that you've built, but also engage with uh, Alexa and also have some brand um, identity of their own as well. So could you talk a little bit about that? It is really important for the automakers to be able to have their own branded experience with voice in the vehicle. And so we're trying to help automakers with that, as you know, uh, with what we call Alexa Custom Assistant. And what this does is actually allows automakers to use the Alexa tech stack and with their own custom wake word, their own custom voice and their own custom features, um, create that branded experience that then works seamlessly alongside Alexa in the vehicle. Um, and that's one of the beautiful things is you have this vehicle expert with the brand um, with Alexa Custom Assistant that works alongside Alexa and can actually transition back and forth. Um, I think we actually have a video where we can show this, which is probably better than me talking about it. Um, 
And in this video, I will just say that the branded experience we call Brandon, um, of course, you know, as I said, the wake word gets customized for the automaker, whatever they want to call that, that branded assistant. Um, but in that, in this case, we have Brandon and Alexa. Let's take a look. Alexa, find parking. Hmm, Brandon? I have found a parking garage near your destination. How long would you like to park? Two hours. Okay, I have reserved your parking space using your Amazon Pay account. Would you like me to navigate you there? Yes. Hello Inga, welcome back. There is heavy traffic on your normal route. I have found a faster way. Do you want me to start navigation? Yes. Okay, starting navigation. Brandon, continue reading my audiobook. Hmm, Alexa? Continuing Dare to Lead on Audible. Dare to Lead. This is the author, Brene Brown. Awesome. And also, uh, on the Panasonic side, we have uh, the, the Alexa stack and the Brandon experience integrated into our Spider cockpit domain controller and also our SkipGen Android-based platform. And we can demonstrate that also to car companies along with a nice suite of additional uh, Amazon technologies, whether that's integration into AWS, whether that's integration into some of the music and video uh, content that Amazon can provide, or whether that's also some you know, future looking things that we can talk about with the Alexa 4.0 stack that uh, we're now working closely with the Amazon team about. So can you share a little bit about what's coming in that Alexa realm? One of the, the advancements is around a multimodal experience. So we know that it's important um, in the vehicle and at home, you know, to have this voice first experience, but sometimes you need to be able to glance at something and to get a little bit more information quickly. Um, and so what we've done is we've taken essentially the, the Echo Show experience that you have at home and have brought that now into the car with, um, with Alexa presentation language or APL, um, making it really easy for folks like yourselves to help automakers um, bring in that experience so that, for instance, if somebody asks for uh, the nearest coffee shops, right? If I ask Alexa for the nearest coffee shops, rather than having to simply listen to the options I can now also glance at my screen and see those top options and choose which one I want to navigate to. Oh, that's perfect because, you know, from a driver distraction and a usability, there are certain things that a glance is perfect to represent and other things where a list or, you know, voice prompts are great, but that picking from a list, seeing an, a couple options and being able to choose great, great and absolutely uh, perfect for an automotive environment. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We're really excited about that. The other thing that I'll just mention is what we call teachable AI. Um, and I'm really excited about this. So what teachable AI does is it actually allows customers to essentially create their own custom utterance. So if I said, for example, to Alexa, I'm hot, Alexa might not know what that means, but Alexa can infer what that means in the vehicle that perhaps I want to turn the temperature down five degrees or maybe roll down the windows. She can ask me what I want to do. I can then confirm, yes, I'd like you to please turn the temperature down five degrees. And now I've personalized that utterance, Alexa, I'm hot, to get her to do that exact uh, action. And she will then remember that personalization for the future. So when I'm back in my car later and say I'm hot again, she will take that same action. Wow, and so that's, I'm, that's awesome. Yeah, awesome. I'm really excited about, about the AI being able to, to learn from, from me, from customers, um, and, and be able to, to customize and personalize that experience. Yeah, that's awesome. At, at Panasonic, we've been doing some predictive AI that I think would benefit from a lot of the back-end learning and capability that Alexa's built up over the time. But we've been doing things like um, checking the, uh, maybe the air quality. And we were talking a little bit earlier before we were in this call about some technology we have called Nano EX that is actually a way to clean the air and clean pollutants from the air or smells or other things. 
and we can do some smart detection and say, hey, you know, it's a beautiful day. Would you like to roll down the windows or, you know, or the air quality is decreased. Maybe there's a fire locally and roll up the windows and make sure that you're kind of cleaning the air for people to give a more comfortable experience when you're driving. And knowing that the car has really replaced your office as your second space you're spending the most time in outside of your home. You know, the, the comfort, the convenience, the media consumption and content, all the things that we're able to enable with Amazon, I think has been really neat. And uh, it's, uh, I'm excited that we're seeing these now go into the car. And, and Panasonic is already one that's uh, deployed Alexa technology into production. So we're looking forward to keep adding some of these new features into it. So the one other thing that I would just mention are, is the fact that consumers want to do so many things with their voice and together we're making that possible. So this is really not just being able to use their voice for features around the vehicle itself, although that is certainly important, but also around, like you mentioned, all of the entertainment features and music and, and those kinds of things, um, as well as being able to connect to the world around them, whether that's using their voice to help with navigation, like we talked about earlier, um, or being able to connect to those automotive services like finding and paying for parking or gas or, or charging. Um, and then, Andrew, you mentioned earlier also being able to connect to those, those personal items, you know, being able to add something to a list or connect to your smart home device. All of those things together are really what make that voice in the vehicle um, powerful when you can use it in the vehicle and at home and on the go. Um, and we're just really excited to continue to bring those innovations to our, to our customers. You know, at, at Panasonic, we're looking at what you can do in your home environment and how that differentiates from your car environment or your phone environment. So one great example is uh, on your mobile phone, you have things like Dolby Atmos, but it's really geared towards a binaural audio experience. But in your home, if you're using Fire TV, for instance, that's geared around a home theater experience where you have overhead speakers, front speakers, rear speakers, subwoofers, center channel, and a lot of times those home theater experiences really have to be customized for the room it's in. Well, imagine all these cars that can have 36 speakers and branded audio like Panasonic does right now with Klipsch and with uh, Fender and with ELS and with others. We can do these amazing home theater type applications that you can use things like something like a fire tv where you can have these great home theater experiences that can be differentiated from what you can do with a phone for example and i think you'll see some of those things come into the car and then be able to use alexa and interact with them like you would in your home theater application you see it extending into other things whether it's voice-based games or you know what what's going on you know next in that that level of integration yeah, well, I, you know, we could imagine all sorts of incredible things that people could do uh, while they're in their vehicles, um, whether they're passengers in the vehicle or, you know, at some point when we are on an autonomous route, even the, the driver, uh, right, gets to be a passenger as well. And, you know, you could imagine a, a really great experience that's either individual or, or communal. Uh, in the vehicle where people could play games, people could watch a movie together, uh, you know, or, you know, listen to the same playlist, all sorts of different kinds of things uh, that we see um, being able to happen in the vehicles themselves. And again, I'm excited about that, being able to bring all of the great features that people can do at home into their vehicles as we have, you know, bigger screens and more experiences like that uh, on the go. Awesome. And uh, maybe last thing I wanted to talk about a little is we, we've been doing a lot around these ideas of sound bubbles. So bringing private zoned audio where people can have their unique experience in each seat location that can be interacting with voice or hearing media consumption and without headphones, not disturbing a different person, whether that's the driver or whatever. We've done things like whisper agents where we can target speech directly to the driver's ear so it can, you know, uh, recite back turn by turn navigation instructions without all the kids in the car hearing the navigation or wanting to do something to interrupt it. Um, and one thing I find interesting here, the amount of Alexa devices we have in our house, but how they each know, hey, it's my zone. I pick it up because you're in this room or you're closest to this device. And I think 
what we're doing is seeing this incredible explosion of a mic of microphones inside and outside of the vehicle coupled with this personalization or personal zoned you know sound bubbles do you think it will be the same experience that you get where it will just pick which one you're going to interact with or is there something unique you uh, could envision targeting an automotive in those kind of environments that's a good question i you know i, I would Hesitate to say it would be the same, right? We have to be thoughtful about the experience that's in a vehicle, and it is different than being in a home. Um, but I think, you know, between a combination of those zones and also being able to tap a screen and do those things, that going back to that multimodal experience, I think will create a really powerful and rich experience for customers in the future. Oh, that's, that's, that's absolutely great. Great, great. Well, thank you so much for listening to this talk and, uh, and hearing what's coming out in vehicles and what we're doing together with Amazon. And Ariane, thank you so much for participating. And I look forward to seeing you again soon and look forward to what will be not only hitting the showroom floor soon with our joint technologies, but what we can talk about in future CESs together. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you.